Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video I will be giving you 10 free moody presets for photoshop. Ok so without any further ado let's get into the video. So to download the presets all you have to do is go to the link in the description and let me show you. Once you go to the link in the description. What you have to do is just click on the subscribe button or if you are already subscribed just click on the button once to check if you are subscribed and then come back to the same page again so i'll be hitting on subscribe so on the pop-up just click on subscribe and since i'm subs uh, it's my channel i cannot subscribe to myself so i just click on ok now let's see see there will be a green tick mark and now let's scroll down and this get link will be on green color so just click on the get link button and this will take you to the photo okay so what you can do is from here you can like click on download and it will download a zip file it will take a few moments of course okay once it's zipped it will be starting to download okay uh, once it's download what you have this joint folder so I have already unzipped it so let me just show you right click and extract files you can uh, like move to any location you like and click on ok so like it, here it's already generated see ok so now let me just show you some of the example files which I have created so this one is the one of the example files so I'll just go to camera raw so to load the presets what you can do is uh, on these three dots and then load settings and uh, from the place that you have saved you can like load the settings what i have already done is i have already saved it uh, as a moody presets pack see so this is actually easy for me so if you want to know how i created this it's actually easy if you want to know just let me know in the comments so for this uh, i think this let's go through all of those okay, I like this one and I think this one working better right so I'll just go with this one and click on ok yeah that's it so that's pretty much everything done so again you can like add text and borders and anything like styles on top of this and make your images more pop out so let's go to the second image so this image is kind of tricky actually so let me show you filter camera filter let's go to our presets so this is my presets so this one is making everything like super bright this is even brighter so this one's good this one's good yeah okay but actually i like this one so because look at this backgrounds and stuff is looking absolutely brilliant but except her face i think it bit, it's a bit washed out like actually with those oranges so let's go to the edit button here just the edit button so go to the basics and just add, uh, adjust some settings okay so the blacks i'm gonna just just decrease the black content like adding some more whites into her so like go to the color mixer and from the saturation, I'm gonna decrease the saturation a bit. And like, let's go to the calibration. And here, if you see, if I decrease the saturation, the oranges might fade a bit. So, just decreasing the saturation a bit. In the detail, I'm gonna add in some amount of color noise. Okay. Now, if you, if you notice, our face is much better. It's going well with the background as well. So, let me show you. This is the before, this is the after. The image is looking brilliant. So if you need to add some more like moody effect, so what you can do is from this curve, just pull this curve upwards, okay? So this will be adding some more of that moody foggy look, okay? So we just click on OK. There you go. So this is the before and this is the after. So let's go to the final image. So this one is the image. 
So let's go to our camera again. So here, let me load my presets. Let's check which one works well. Yeah, this one is making a pop out too much. So I think I will just go with this one again for this one as well. So let's go to the edit. You can also use the shortcut E to go to edit. So I want to make this a bit more moody like I said in the last image. So let's drag this upwards. Making this curve, see, making this curve upwards will add some more like a foggy look, but don't take it too crazy. Like this will be almost like a negative effect. So just a tiny bit something like that I think okay make it less subtle okay make it like subtle so that it only stands out if it needed so I'll just decrease the uh, shadows a bit and you can also play with various settings like the hues see change the hues gives it a total different look I don't want I don't really want to go with that so just, uh, I think that's good so you can also play with the Blue, see the road color changes. I think we'll go somewhere like that. Okay. So feel free to experiment. So we'll add some vignette and the calibration settings. Let's go and add in a bit of color. Okay. I'm click on okay. So this is the this is the before and this is the after. See. How much difference did it make? It just made an image from looking like a normal pick to some something like a masterpiece. <laughs> Maybe you all know what I mean. Yeah, so so just go to the link in the description, download the presets, and uh, make sure to leave a like and drop some comments on what you think. And if you have any like uh, cartoons or things that you like, so that I can make some presets for them. So just let me know in the comments. Yeah, thank you guys. See you in a new video.